Hi, let's start working on these cute little mushrooms. I'm going to show you how to draw these step by step. We are going to start with this one right here. The first thing I want you to do is just come up and make a curvy little top of a triangle. Just like that. A soft rounded top of a pyramid and then we're gonna come down and around and as we we're gonna kind of make a line that goes this way but we're gonna add some of these little peaks so it's just a straight line but we're adding some of those nice little like where the edge of the mushroom cap splits sometimes and it looks a little bit irregular. So that's the top of our mushroom. And then we'll add part of this little stem. So this is just going to be a tiny part of the stem. We don't want to do the whole stem just yet because we're going to add that little collar to it. It's going to be very cute. Let's do the underside of this mushroom. So let's come down. It can be a little wonky. It doesn't have to be a perfect straight line. So that's the underside. And this section is gonna be striped and we're gonna go vertical all the way around. So all this part under here has that, um, what would we call this texture inside of a mushroom? I'm not sure, but it's very, it's very soft. It's a lot of little lines, so we can just add all of those little lines in there. Line, 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 line. You don't have to do them right now. You can do them later. But I wanted to make sure I got one with lines in it to show you how this adds a very nice texture to the inside of that mushroom. Super cute. So now we'll put this little floofy flare thing here. So let's do our two lines out to the side. And then it's kind of like, if you've seen Kermit the Frog, it's kind of like Kermit's little collar. Just zigzaggy like that. Then we'll add the bottom part of the stalk and it's going to come out wider and round at the edge. So we're coming out wider and rounding and we'll just connect it there. And we can add some contours here up from the bottom. Just with our little wispy strokes like this. We can add some coming from under this little collar. It'll look a lot better when I erase all that pencil on it. Some from under the collar. And then if you'd like to add some here, we can add as well. Just a few. I think that'll do it. And you can put any pattern that you want in there. If you want to make your mushrooms have a little personality, you could put stars or hearts or any shape really that you like. You can leave it solid. You can just play with some paint in that area. But I'm probably gonna go ahead and erase my little spots. And then when I paint it, I'll use speckles. Okay, let's work on this big one next. It's gonna be pretty much the same way. So we're gonna start, we're gonna make just a curvy, little triangle. And then as we come around for this edge, we'll round it and then we can make those little breaks. So it kind of looks like the top of an EKG when you can see your heartbeat. And then when we get to the end, we just close that back off. So there's the top of that one. Now this one, I am going to put my dots in because I want to have big giant dots on this mushroom. 
this is going to be a very expected type of mushroom with the big cute dots on it. So I'm just going to add those. I don't always stay exactly where my pencil was. That's okay. I'm going to have some bigger ones and then they're going to gradually get a little bit smaller. You can add as many or as few as you want. And there's the top of that mushroom. And before we do the bottom part, we need to add the first part of the stalk. So let's come down here. And then just like the other one, we'll add kind of a little it's almost like we're giving that mushroom a little tutu. <laughs> and then this one is going to be, it's going to get wider and round at the bottom. So we'll do that on both sides. And then I'll connect that line. And we'll do similar to what we did over there. We'll do these little scratchy lines coming upward and that helps with the general dimension of this mushroom. I think it also gives it a very vintage kind of a block printed look. If you've ever seen block printing. All right I think we need a line here don't you? I think we do. I'm adding it. Executive decision. And then I'm going to put some of these cute little scratchy lines upward from there. And then we just have to do the underside of the mushroom cap. So this is going to come down. Doesn't have to be perfectly round. Mushrooms are a little bit, they're pretty symmetrical, but those edges can be very ruffly and weird. Okay, so same thing here. We're going to still have all those little lines. You can come back and add these later, or you can add them right now. I'm going to add them right now. I feel like they make such a difference, and they really make our mushroom look very three-dimensional and give it that mushroom characteristic that it feels like you could stretch it out like an accordion, but you can't or the mushroom will fall apart. So there's one side. You can see how adorable this is going to look when we're done. And you can always kind of just put a few little dots here and there just to make it look more like, hey, this is something that lives in the dirt, <laughs> that came from the dirt. And I'll put a few dots up here as well. You know what? I think this one is... This one might be a little bit jealous. We need to give it a few little dirt dots. I'm trying to be very random with the places I put these dots so they don't look like they're in some kind of pattern. Okay, let's finish out over here on this side. Let's add, I think it's gonna work better if I start from the middle because then I can see a straight line. My hands tend to be a little bitty bit shaky sometimes. But I don't think that really matters with what we're doing here. These lines don't have to be especially straight. They, um, they can vary a little bit. So I'm just going to go, go, go. Whee!
And I do have a little bit of, I'm going outside my lines there, but I think this is the type of drawing where we have so many lines that it, it won't matter at the end. Now let's come over to this one. It's kind of shaped like a Christmas tree. And I have got, my hands are kind of oily, so I'm gonna cover up these so I can rest my hand here while I work on this one. This is our triangle that we start with is gonna be very tall. This is like a little gnome hat type of a mushroom. So we go up, it's tall, and then again, we round this edge and then our little breaks in this mushroom can be taller because it's such a tall mushroom. It's kind of fun, huh? All right, and then we'll add our stalk and since we're behind that mushroom that we already drew, I'm gonna come up and when I hit that mushroom, I'm picking up and I'm going back this way. Then we're behind and then we can add our, uh, where we see the underside, let's go up and then those little stripes in. And anywhere these go up, you can put the stripes up in those little breaks as well. There's the bottom of that mushroom. And this one's going to be a little more whimsical than the other one. So there's a curve. And then I'm going to do some little, these are dots, but they're sort of also like a donut. Or a Fruit Loop. And then I'll add some regular dots. I think it needs a regular dot right at the top. So you can add, again, any pattern. It doesn't have to be a pattern that would occur on a mushroom in real life out in the forest. Can be any pattern that you like. And then let's add, let's do some little, little dots. This is hard to tell because I have a lot of, <laughs> a great deal of pencil dots in there. And I think on this mushroom, I also want to have, I'm going to have some, a few of these little wispy lines under the top color. That is so cute. All right, and let's put our, our little lines coming up from the bottom of the stalk. And I think that one's done. So now we can do this little cluster of mushrooms. These are fun. They're pretty simple. The part on top, so we'll start with the top part. You can put as many of these as you want. If you want a whole lot of little mushrooms, that is completely up to you. So these are gonna be round, but then when you do this part, I want you to arc up just a tiny bit. So same thing here, round, and then I want you to arc up. And then same thing here, round, and let's arc upward and round. And we'll arc upward and you know, I had four, but I think I want five. Huh. I really do. Where can I put the fifth mushroom? Maybe it'll be a tiny baby one. It'll be right here. So we did round and we're gonna arc up. Now we can add the stalk. So let's start with this one and it's gonna have a curvy stalk that comes and meets right here. So there's that one. And then I'm going to add this one. And let's see, then we'll do this one. It can come curve around and end there. And then this one, I'm going to curve a little bit so it meets at a good place. So it's curvy. It's not how I drew it in pencil, but that's all right. I'm curving it sideways, and then this one can curve back around and join the family right there. 
And now we just have to close it off at the bottom. So I'm gonna close it off this way. And I'll add those. Now we'll come and add the bottom portion of these. So these are gonna be a downward swoop. And then we'll put all the little lines. So again, a downward swoop. Connect it there, and we'll fill that up with lines. So we'll do that on each of these. And the last little baby one. Here we go. So that's all four of our mushrooms. Now, oh, this is where it gets a little bit difficult because we don't know what kind of details we want to add. I want you to be creative. I want you to add some of your own details, but I want to show you how to add some details too. Oh, you know what we forgot? Let's put some little, some little wispy lines on these friends here. be thinking about what kind of is this all it's going to be and then you're going to have a background or are you going to put some forest in here maybe you want to add some flowers you could do that I think these ones are going to have let's give them some little spots too I'm just going to give them a few spots though not a whole bunch of spots everyone can have three or four spots Here we go. So those are done. Now you can decide, do I want to put some leaves through here? Do I want to have some vines hanging from the top of here? What am I gonna do? I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but you know, I have decided that this mushroom is gonna have little stars all over it. Instead of polka dots, it's gonna have stars. This was brilliant, I love it. They're not gonna be all the same size. They're gonna be different sizes. So adorable. What gets hard sort of thing is, now I need to make part of a star, but I'm not very, how good I am at making <laughs> just part of a star. I need another one maybe over here. Little tiny one here. Little tiny one over here. And then we can just add some dots. This can be our star dust. Okay. These are cute. I kind of feel like I want to add some flowers. What do you all think? I'm not sure what I think. I think I'm just going to give them, first let's give them a little horizon line. So there's the ground, there's the dirt. We can really do whatever we want in the background here. Um, so I'm going to let you use your imagination. You could have some little vines hanging down. You can do whatever you want. But I'm going to time lapse mine because I am super slow when I'm thinking about stuff like that. So here we go. I'll be back and it'll be finished and complete. Before I do that, I am going to erase uh, all of my pencil. So that'll go away. 